Magadha was an ancient Indian kingdom in southern Bihar, and was counted as one of the sixteen Mahajanapadas Sanskrit, great countries of ancient India. Magadha played an important role in the development of Jainism and Buddhism, and two of India's greatest empires, the Maurya Empire and Gupta Empire, originated in Magadha. The existence of Magadha is recorded in Vedic texts much earlier in time than 600 BCE. The earliest reference to the Magadha people occurs in the Atharvaveda, where they are found listed along with the Angas, Gandharis and Mujavats. The core of the kingdom was the area of Bihar south of the Ganges, its first capital was Rajagriya modern-day Rajagar, then Pataliputra modern Patna. Rajagriya was initially known as Jorvriya and later came to be known as so during the reign of Ajatashatru. Magadha expanded to include most of Bihar and Bengal with the conquest of Vaji Confederation and Anga, respectively. The Kingdom of Magadha eventually came to encompass Bihar, Jharkhand, Orissa, West Bengal, Eastern Uttar Pradesh, and the areas that are today the nations of Bangladesh and Nepal. The ancient Kingdom of Magadha is heavily mentioned in Jain and Buddhist texts. It is also mentioned in the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, and the Puranas. The Mauryan Empire and Gupta Empire, both of which originated in Magadha, saw advancements in ancient India's science, mathematics, astronomy, religion, and philosophy and were considered the Golden Age of India. The Magadha Kingdom included republican communities such as the community of Rajakumara. Villages had their own assemblies under their local chiefs called Gramakas. Their administrations were divided into executive, judicial, and military functions. Topic. Geography The Kingdom of the Magadhi, before its expansion, corresponded to the modern districts of Patna, Jahanabad, Nalanda, Aurangabad, Nawada and Gaya in southern Bihar, and parts of Bengal in the east. It was bounded on the north by the river Ganges, on the east by the river Champa, on the south by the Vindhya Range, and on the west by the Sun River. This region of Greater Magadha had a culture and belief system of its own that predated Hinduism. Much of the second urbanization took place here from c. 500 BCE onwards and it was here that Jainism became strong and Buddhism arose. The importance of Magadha's culture can be seen in that Buddhism, Jainism and Hinduism adopted some of its features, most significantly a belief in rebirth and karmic retribution. History There is little certain information available on the early rulers of Magadha. The most important sources are the Buddhist Pali Canon, the Jain Agamas and the Hindu Puranas. Based on these sources, it appears that Magadha was ruled by the Haryanka dynasty for some 200 years, c. 543-413 BCE Gautama Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, lived much of his life in the kingdom of Magadha. He attained enlightenment in Bodh Gaya, gave his first sermon in Sarnath, and the first Buddhist council was held in Rajgriya. The Hindu Mahabharata calls Brihadratha the first ruler of Magadha. King Bimbisara of the Haryanka dynasty led an active and expansive policy, conquering the kingdom of Anga in what is now West Bengal. King Bimbisara was killed by his son, Prince Ajatashatru. King Pasenadi, king of neighboring Kosala and brother-in-law of King Bimbisara, promptly retook the gift of the Kashi province. Accounts differ slightly as to the cause of King Ahitashatru's war with the Lichavi, an area north of the river Ganges. It appears that Ajatashatru sent a minister to the area who worked for three years to undermine the unity of the Lichavis. To launch his attack across the Ganges river, Ajatashatru built a fort at the town of Pataliputra. Torn by disagreements the Lichavas fought with Ajatashatru. It took 15 years for Ajatashatru to defeat them. Jain texts tell how Ajatashatru used two new weapons, a catapult, and a covered chariot with swinging mace that has been compared to a modern tank. Pataliputra began to grow as a center of commerce and became the capital of Magadha after Ahitashatru's death. The Haryanka dynasty was overthrown by the Shishunaga dynasty. The last Shishunaga ruler, Mahanandin, was assassinated by Mahapama Nanda in 345 BCE, the first of the so-called Nine Nandas, i.e., Mahapama and his eight sons. In 326 BCE, the army of Alexander approached the western boundaries of Magadha. The army, exhausted and frightened at the prospect of facing another giant Indian army at the Ganges, mutinied at the Hyphasis, the modern Bees River, and refused to march further east. 
Alexander, after the meeting with his officer Coenus, was persuaded that it was better to return and turn south, conquering his way down the Indus to the ocean. Around 321 BCE, the Nanda dynasty ended and Chandragupta Maurya became the first king of the great Mauryan dynasty and Mauryan empire with the help of Chanakya. The empire later extended over most of South Asia under King Ashoka, who was at first known as Ashoka the Cruel but later became a disciple of Buddhism and became known as Dharma Ashoka. Later, the Mauryan Empire ended, as did the Shunga and Karabela empires, to be replaced by the Gupta Empire. The capital of the Gupta Empire remained Pataliputra in Magadha. Culture Several Shramanic movements have existed before the 6th century BCE, and these influenced both the Astika and Nastika traditions of Indian philosophy. The Sramana movement gave rise to diverse range of heterodox beliefs, ranging from accepting or denying the concept of soul, atomism, antinomian ethics, materialism, atheism, agnosticism, fatalism to free will, idealization of extreme asceticism to that of family life, strict ahimsa and vegetarianism to permissibility of violence and meat-eating. Magadha Kingdom was the nerve center of this revolution. Jainism was revived and re-established after Mahavira, the last and the 24th Tirthankara, synthesized and revived the philosophies and promulgations of the ancient Shramanic traditions laid down by the first Jain Tirthankara Rishabhanatha millions of years ago. Buddha founded Buddhism which received royal patronage in the kingdom. According to Indologist Johannes Bronkhorst, the culture of Magadha was in some ways different than the Vedic kingdoms of the Indo-Aryans. He argues for a cultural area termed Greater Magadha, defined as roughly the geographical area in which the Buddha and Mahavira lived and taught. With regard to the Buddha, this area stretched by and large from Srivasti, the capital of Kosala, in the northwest to Rajagra, the capital of Magadha, in the southeast. According to Bronkhorst, there was indeed a culture of Greater Magadha which remained recognizably distinct from Vedic culture until the time of the grammarian Patanjali and beyond. Vedic texts such as the Satipatha Brahmana demonize the inhabitants of this area as demonic and as speaking a barbarous speech. The Buddhologist Alexander Wynne writes that there is an overwhelming amount of evidence to suggest that this rival culture to the Vedic Aryans dominated the eastern Gangetic Plain during the early Buddhist period. Orthodox Vedic Brahmins were, therefore, a minority in Magadha during this early period. The Magadhan religions are termed the Sramana traditions and include Jainism, Buddhism and Ahivika. Buddhism and Jainism were the religions promoted by the early Magadhan kings, such as Srinika, Bimbisara and Ajatashatru, and the Nanda dynasty 345 BCE that followed was mostly Jain. These Sramana religions did not worship the Vedic deities, practiced some form of asceticism and meditation jhana and tended to construct round burial mounds called stupas in Buddhism. These religions also sought some type of liberation from the cyclic rounds of rebirth and karmic retribution through spiritual knowledge. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Rulers. Two notable rulers of Magadha were Bimbisara, also known as Shrenika, and his son Ajatashatru, also known as Kunika, who are mentioned in Buddhist and Jain literature as contemporaries of the Buddha and Mahavira. Later, the throne of Magadha was usurped by Mahapama Nanda, the founder of the Nanda dynasty c. 345-321 BCE, which conquered much of North India. The Nanda dynasty was overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya, the founder of the Maurya Empire 321-180 BCE. There is much uncertainty about the succession of kings and the precise chronology of Magadha prior to Mahapama Nanda. The accounts of various ancient texts, all of which were written many centuries later than the era in question, contradict each other on many points. Furthermore, there is a long chronology and a contrasting short chronology preferred by some scholars, an issue that is inextricably linked to the uncertain chronology of the Buddha and Mahavira. Pre-Maurya, long and short chronologies According to historian John Key, a proponent of the short chronology, Bimbisara must have been reigning in the late 5th century BCE, and Ajatashatru in the early 4th century BCE. 
Kii states that there is great uncertainty about the royal succession after Ahitashatru's death, probably because there was a period of court intrigues and murders, during which Evidently the throne changed hands frequently, perhaps with more than one incumbent claiming to occupy it at the same time." Until Mahapama Nanda was able to secure the throne, the following, "...long chronology," is according to the Buddhist Mahavamsa. Haryanka dynasty Bimbisara c. 546–494 BCE Ajatashatru c. 494–462 BCE Udayan c. 462–446 BCE Aniruddha and Munda c. 446–438 BCE Nagatasaka c. 438–414 BCE Shishunaga dynasty Shishunaga c. 414–396 BCE Kalashoka c. 396–368 BCE Ten Sons of Kalashoka c. 368–346 BCE Nanda Dynasty c. 346–324 BCE On the other hand, the Hindu Puranas give a different sequence Shishunaga reigned for 40 years Kakavarna 36 years Shimadarman 20 years Shatrauhas 29 years Bimbisara 28 years Ajatashatru 25 years Darbaka or Darshaka or Harshaka 25 years Udayan 33 years Nandavardhana 42 years Mahanandine 43 years Nanda dynasty 100 years a shorter list appears in the Jain tradition which simply lists Shrenaka Bimbisara Kunika Ajatashatru Udayan followed by the Nanda dynasty Topic. Maurya dynasty 322 BCE. Chandragupta Maurya BCE, founded the Maurya dynasty. Bindusara BCE. Ashoka BCE. Dasharatha 232-224 BCE Samprati 224-215 BCE Shalishuka 212-212 BCE Devavarman 202-195 BCE Shatadanvan 195-187 BCE Brihadratha 187-180 BCE Topic References Topic Citations Topic Sources <laughs>